constructs an ellipse when the distance of its focus from the directrix is given as 50 mm and the eccentricity e is 2 by 3 once you see the eccentricity value e you have to add the numerator and denominator and find out the total parts so you have five parts you have 50 mm so you can very easily divide five parts as 10 mm each now let us start the first line is the directrix draw one vertical line name it as d e dash this is the directrix line approximately at the mid of this directrix you draw one horizontal line for axis of the ellipse name this point of intersection as a now given the distance of its focus from the directrix as 50 mm so from a take exactly 50 mm take exactly 50 mm then locate the focus meantime try to divide the given 50 mm into five parts each 10 mm now that focus is located it is marked as f now given e as 2 by 3 so take two parts from f and specify b through b draw a vertical line with the help of a compass you make an arc with the b of as radius just to transform this arc to the vertical line that is passing through b so you get uh, this point name this point as c now we connect uh, a and c make use of uh, the drafter then join these two point a and c this is the generating line for ellipse if you want you can even draw the same line at the other side as well this can be drawn on the other side also so the same generating line can be drawn on the opposite side as well draw this line to be a guiding line to be thin line now set the mini drafter for the original position now from b just move to the right and fix one line we mark this as one the one that is touching the guideline is marked as one dash now keeping one one dash as radius just locate this one one dash take this one one dash take one one dash as radius f as center we mark two arc each one on the top and the bottom of the line passing through one one dash similar way you can move to the right with random distance you take the second line we mark it as two two dash then you can have the third line can be marked as 3 3 dash fourth line 4 four, four dash fifth line 5 five, five dash sixth line 6 six, six dash seventh line 
77 dash and so on. Just name this as 3, 3 dash, 4, 4 dash, 5, 5 dash, 6, 6 dash, 7, 7 dash. Now, with the help of compass, take the distance to 2 dash. Take the distance to 2 dash. With the upper center, draw the arc on the 2 to dash line at two places, each one at the top and the other at the bottom. A similar way, take 3 3 dash, take 3 3 dash. With the upper center and the 3 3 dash is radius, you get uh, two points on the 3 3 dash line. Similarly, go for 4 4 dash. So 4 4 dash is radius. With the upper center, you can mark the points. Two points will get on 4 4 dash line. In a similar way, you can make out all the remaining points let's say this is 5 5 dash with the upper center and 5 5 dash is radius you can mark these arcs take 6 6 dash take 6 6 dash with the upper center and 6 6 dash as radius you can make the arc on the 6 6 dash line Really go for 7 7 dash with the upper center 7 7 dash is radius you get some more points still the ellipse is not complete try to add some more lines see that you could get the end points with uh, 8, 9, 10, then corresponding points 8 dash, 9 dash, and 10 dash. Take 8, 8 dash, 8, 8 dash as center, 8, 8 dash as radius. With the upper center, you make arc on this 8th line. You get one arc here, another arc opposite side. Similarly, go for the ninth one. Ninth one with the upper center and nine nine dash as radius. You get the arc. Same way, you repeat for ten ten dash. So with ten ten dash as radius, the upper center you get two arc. Try to extend this generator a little further. Extend this generator to more. Here also, you can just extend this. Then you can add some more points. of the generating lines extend this extend these lines similarly you could take the radius of the respective lines take the radius here and put the arc on these lines to name this as 11, 11 dash the other one is 12, 12 dash so take 12, 12 dash 
square equal dash the line is going out so you are able to get the intersection so roughly predict uh, the length of this focus exactly at the horizontal try one more point exactly at the end try this also and be able to get the complete ellipse take uh, this distance take this distance then put the arc at the center exactly it goes here so now note down the points the point uh, plot here is p1 this one is p2 this one is p3 this one is p4 then you have p5 P6, P7, P8, P9, then P10, P11, P12, P13, dash P eleven dash P ten dash P nine dash then P eight dash P seven dash P six dash P five dash then this one is P four dash here we have P3 dash, P2 dash, P1 dash. Already there is an obvious point B. Try to connect uh, these points with the help of smooth curves. You get a absolute shape of ellipse. So likewise, you can just uh, join the other end also. lines now connect the other end because the ellipse is a symmetrical shape you get the exact shape without lifting the hand just to move on the traced points so that you get a smooth elliptical curve you can finish the other side also without lifting the pencil you can move on to the sides and get a smooth curve Get the complete ellipse. Try to draw a tangent normal at the given point on this ellipse. Now the procedure for drawing tangent normal is very simple. Take any point on the curve. Name this as P. Try to connect uh, this point with the focus point F. Connect this point to focus point F. 
now draw the perpendicular line through pf line perpendicular to pf that touches the directrix line at one point connect these two points indicating the exact tangent of the curve given tangent draw the 90 degree line passing through p the line that is perpendicular to the given tangent is the normal so mark this as n dash m m dash m is the tangent Construct the parabola where the distance of its focus from the directrix is the PMR. First, draw vertical line. Consider that as directrix. Mark it as DD dash. Draw a horizontal line. It can be considered as axis of the parabola. Take 50 mm. From the end, mark this in the A, take 50 mm from the end. So, we have 20, 30, 40, 50. Then divide this into two equal parts, which means divide this as 25, 25. At 25, you mark the vertex. Because in parabola eccentricity is 1. So 